Steve, what's the most adventurous thing you ever did in your bathrobe? <laughs> hmm. I don't have a bath. Well, it just stays in the closet. The bathrobe stays in the closet. So somebody gave you a bathrobe and you never wear it. Yes. It's like basically the, the most useless item uh, that you have. Yep. That's perfect. All right. How about you? So you like your bathrobe now. Is that right, Pam? I love my bathrobe. All right, I so actually do. I have a collection of bathrobes on the back of my door. A collection. I'm sure I your, I love bathrobes. your guy appreciates that. The whole back of the door being taken up by bathrobes. Do you wear a different yeah. one every day? Uh, no, I think it's seasonal. <laughs> so you have like <laughs> an is. autumn like bathrobe? You have a winter no, one, summer? Are they hey, decorated? What do you have on the back of your door? <laughs> nah. They are not decorated. They're kind of just simple but comfy. I can mm -hmm. hang out in them. Mm -hmm. Put them on after a shower. What's the most adventurous thing you've ever done in your bathrobe? Well, I'm answering this off the camera. You left the bathrobe. Out of your mind. <laughs> you have your passed away. It's a sad day today. What's the most adventurous thing you ever did in your bathrobe? Uh, wore it, I guess. I'm not really a bathrobe kind no. of guy. Usually, my bathrobe to me means I'm sick. <laughs> so I relate bathrobe to like I'm have a flu, I'm putting on a bathrobe. I, I don't. Yeah. So you weren't really surprised when he passed away then. Tonight. I was. I thought he was already dead, frankly, but um... awfully morbid. <laughs> Thanks. But 